2024 Mercedes AMG CLE 53, a new star in the luxury sport coupe segment. We're here to pump, clap, you up. It's as if Hans, Franz, and the gang at AMG are cheering on the arrival of the new Mercedes-Benz CLE Coupe, which made its debut last summer in CLE 300 and CLE 450 variants. After a rigorous regimen at AMG HQ and a falter back, the result is the powerful Mercedes AMG CLE 53. The first giveaway of its AMG pedigree is the distinctive vertical slat grille, but the real transformation lies in the beefed-up front and rear fenders, accommodating wider tracks, 2.3 inches up front and 3.0 inches in the rear compared to the standard CLE Coupe. The AMG-specific front fenders allow for a slightly longer wheelbase, with the front wheels pushed forward by 0.4 inches. Other enhancements include a larger lower front air intake, a functional vent on the reshaped hood, protruding sill extensions, quad exhaust outlets, and a subtle ducktail spoiler on the deck lid. Opting for the AMG Performance Studio package adds a rear diffuser, a larger rear spoiler, and tweaks to the front fascia, enhancing the car's menacing appearance, especially with the available matte paint finish. Under the hood, the CLE 53 diverges from the path of the Mercedes AMG C63 sedan, opting for a turbocharged and supercharged 3.0 liter inline six engine. Paired with a 48 volt hybrid system, this turbocharged six delivers 443 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque with an overboost function providing an additional 30 pound-feet for brief bursts of acceleration. These figures mark substantial improvements over the standard Benz variant, 375 horsepower, 369 pound-feet, and also signify a boost of 14 horsepower compared to previous 53 models. The additional power is attributed to a newly introduced electrically driven turbocharger, which increases boost pressure and facilitates the overboost function. Other modifications include updated piston rings and redesigned inlet and outlet channels. While the BMW M4 competitor offers a manual transmission, AMG remains uninterested in manuals, and none are available here. Shifting responsibilities are managed by an AMG-tailored 9-speed automatic transmission, which, unusually for AMG, retains a torque converter. Despite the absence of a clutch pack, it still features a race start function accessible in sport mode and higher, activated simply by holding the brake and pressing the accelerator. All CLE models come standard with all-wheel drive, and AMG's rear bias system can disconnect the front axle, directing 100% of power to the rear wheels. Opting for the AMG Dynamic Plus package introduces a race drive mode alongside Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, and Slippery modes. Within race mode, a drift function can be activated, though it involves multiple steps. This package also incorporates adaptive engine mounts and distinctive red brake calipers. However, all CLE 53S share the same braking components, featuring 14.6-inch ventilated front discs gripped by four piston calipers and 14.2-inch ventilated rear discs. While an AMG driver's package, available in other markets, raises the speed limiter from 155 miles per hour to 168 miles per hour, it is not offered in the US. Behind the wheel of the CLE 53, the turbocharged 6 ignites smoothly, lacking the throaty roar characteristic of AMG's V8s. Even with the active exhaust set to its most aggressive mode, there's merely a subtle burble upon throttle release. Nevertheless, the engine delivers an exhilarating soundtrack as it revs, although the absence of theatrics may disappoint some enthusiasts. Nonetheless, the powertrain packs a punch, with AMG claiming a 4.2-second sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, or 4.0 seconds with race start engaged. However, we suspect these figures may be conservative, anticipating a time in the high threes. Navigating a seemingly endless array of twists and turns across the mountains of Tenerife, Spain, where guardrails are scarce and runoff is virtually non-existent, the CLE 53's steering offers commendable feedback, particularly in Sport and Sport Plus modes, representing a marked improvement over the standard CLE Coupe. Our only desire would be for a more pronounced buildup of resistance when dialing in more steering lock. Exiting slow corners, the rear bias torque distribution in the sportier driving modes becomes perceptible, enhanced further by the standard rear wheel steering, 
which turns the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the fronts by up to 2.5 degrees at speeds up to 60 miles per hour, enhancing cornering agility. Equipped with steel springs and adaptive dampers that adjust firmness based on the selected drive mode, the CLE 53 boasts predictable body control characteristic of an AMG model, albeit with some compromise in ride comfort when venturing away from comfort mode. Our test vehicle featured the optional AMG performance seats, firmly cushioned and snug around the hips, yet supportive without the severity of the most extreme BMW M seats. Peering over the AMG-specific hood with twin raised bulges, negotiating tight bends reveal slight obstruction from the robust A-pillars, while rearward visibility through the sharply sloped rear window is predictably limited. The AMG-specific steering wheel features two dials for toggling between overall drive modes or adjusting individual parameters such as exhaust and suspension settings. Enhancing the driving experience, the CLE 53's 12.3-inch instrument screen provides the driver with access to additional performance metrics compared to the standard CLE model. However, the 11.9-inch center touchscreen, equipped with the third-gen MBUX system, remains largely unchanged from the Benz Coupe and C-Class sedan. While functional, this infotainment system lacks the intuitive usability of BMW's 4 Series, particularly during high-performance driving, due to its reliance on touch-sensitive buttons and sliders. Presently, the CLE 53 stands as Mercedes-AMG's only two-door offering outside of the SL and AMG GT sports cars. In terms of competition, the CLE 53 presents a formidable challenge to the Audi RS5 but falls short of the BMW M4 in terms of raw power. It also lacks the sheer intensity of the M4 CS and competition variants. Nonetheless, while this marks AMG's inaugural venture into the realm of the new coupe, it likely won't be the last, as we anticipate the eventual introduction of a CLE 63 variant. While a more muscular AMG CLE may be on the horizon, the finely tuned CLE 53 effectively infuses Benz's mid-sized two-door with the unmistakable swagger characteristic of the AMG brand. 2024 Mercedes AMG CLE 53 a sweet spot of power and usability. The 2024 Mercedes AMG CLE 53 is a new player in the luxury sport coupe segment, and it's already turning heads. This sleek two-door combines muscular performance with a touch of everyday practicality, making it a compelling option for drivers who crave both thrills and comfort. Powertrain packing a punch. Under the hood lies a 3.0-liter turbocharged inline-six engine that, with the help of a mild hybrid system, delivers a potent 449 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. This translates to exhilarating acceleration, with the CLE 53 rocketing from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 4.2 seconds. The all-wheel drive system ensures confident handling in all weather conditions. Thrilling yet composed handling. While some rivals boast sharper handling, the CLE 53 offers a well-balanced driving experience. The AMG tuned suspension provides a thrilling connection to the road without compromising comfort on long journeys. Drivers can further personalize the driving dynamics through various selectable modes, ranging from comfortable cruising to exhilarating sport plus. Upscale aesthetics inside and out. The CLE 53's design is undeniably head-turning. The flowing lines and muscular stance exude a sense of power and athleticism. The interior is a luxurious haven, featuring high-quality materials and a driver-focused layout. The large touchscreen infotainment system and the latest driver assistance technologies add to the overall sense of sophistication. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.